Hey guys, hope everyone is doing well. Today I have another theory video for you guys. Now, today's theory is about just Leak Flash's powers, what he's doing at the end of the film, and so on. So I'll get more into, I'll get into the questions in more detail in a bit. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, subscribe, turn on post notifications so you don't miss my next theory. My next theory will be on why didn't Doc write to Marty earlier. But without further ado, let's jump right in. Alright, so the first question we have for this theory is what is Flash doing near the ending of the film? Now, if you guys don't remember, nearing the end of the film, Flash reverses time in order to help Cyborg separate the mother boxes. Now, many people believe that Flash is going the fastest he can, just like when he was saving Iris, but he was actually phasing. Now, you guys may be thinking, phasing? What's that? Well, for those that are not fans of the Flash, phasing is when Flash vibrates at the frequency of air, causing the cells in his body to get excited so that he can go through solid objects. Now, Flash does, sign does a significant hand move when he phases. He puts his hand in a way like he is going to high-five someone, which, believe it or not, he also tries to phase when Superman starts attacking the League. If you guys don't believe me, go rewatch that scene. Finally, the world knows what he's doing. I get so irritated when someone says he is moving really fast. Anyways, on to the next question. Now, the second question is the new abilities that Flash has. Now, the new abilities that Flash has is a bit small, but it's good if you guys don't know. So here's the list. Obviously, one of the abilities is him facing, like I explained in the last question. Another ability is Flash's ability to reverse time while he moves. Now this may sound confusing, but I'm talking about when Flash is reversing time and is running towards the team to separate the mother boxes and save the world. Note that I don't think that CW Flash can do this since if he was able to, then he would have used it in like one of the seasons or like maybe like during Crisis or anywhere. The third ability that Flash has is his ability to heal. Now don't lie to me. To tell me you guys saw definitely saw when Flash healed. Like he had like a really bad like scar and then it just started healing. So yeah, that's a good way to explain it. Keep again also CW Flash can do this. It is not something that they made up. The last ability that ha that has been here since the old Justice League is Flash's ability to try to travel back in time, which is again another thing that CW Flash can do. So not made up again. I did all my research for this and it took a while. So please leave this video with a like and a sub for support. Now let's get on to the third question. Now the third question is Will Flash learn his full potential in his own movie? Now, yes, Flash will be getting his own movie. Now, yes, I believe he is going to learn his full potential because it wouldn't make sense just to show his backstory and everything without possibly a second movie of Flash. And besides, in the film, I just learned that when J Justice League Flash and CW Flash met in the Crisis crossover, there will be F Justice League Flash's side of the of the story. I hope you guys enjoyed this theory, and if you guys haven't already, check out my first theory video. I'll put the description and I put a link in the description box below. Now the next theory will be why didn't Doc write to Marley earlier to stay? So stay tuned for that. And if you haven't already, please give this video a like, maybe a sub for support, since I love to do all these videos for you guys, no matter if, like, you guys don't like it or, yeah. But anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next one.